This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. You know, there was a song by the Four Seasons back in the day that went, oh, what a night, and I think that's the best way to sum it up here in Lynchburg this evening for the Liberty Flames. The first FBS game in the history of the program, and what a performance as well. The Flames knock off the Old Dominion Monarchs 52-10 to to go to 1-0 on the season. Big night for Liberty's offense. They put up 591 yards, and Buckshot Calvert with four passing touchdowns as well. The Flames junior quarterback. Let's take you to some of the highlights here, and we'll pick it up in the first quarter. First quarter, first drive of the game for the Flames, who took the ball first, and it's DJ Stubbs off the pass from Buckshot Calvert. Stiff arm at the end of the play. He gets into the end zone, 35 yards for the score. Flames go up 7-0 early. Second drive for Liberty. Antonio Gandy-Golden this time with a four-yard touchdown grab. That puts the Flames up 14-0. Two drives, two scores for Liberty. Flames were firing on all cylinders. Early second quarter, Old Dominion will get back in it. Here's Steven Williams on a fourth down play near the goal line. One-yard touchdown run. that make it 14-10. Flames would lead by the same score heading into halftime. But in the second half, it was Katie bar the door. Kentori Matthews busting open the big run here. Holds his footing. He's gone. 57 yards to the house. Matthews with his only touchdown run of the night. He had 101 yards on the ground, and that put the Flames up 24 to 10 after the extra point. Fourth quarter, Liberty would start to run away with it. Antonio Gandy Golden here. They could not do anything with him. 10-yard touchdown pass from Buckshot Calvert to make it 31 to 10. And then with the Flames up 38 to 10 a little later in the fourth quarter, here's Peyton Pickett. He's getting in on the action. Flames run game got stronger as the game went on. 53 yards to the house. One of two scores for Pickett tonight. Gandy Golden at three touchdown grabs. Flames roll 52 to 10 here tonight at Williams Stadium. They win their season opener, make it back-to-back -back years after knocking off Baylor last year, and they do it with a big offensive showing here tonight. After the ball game, we had a chance to catch up with Antonio Gandy Golden and some of the other Flames in the locker room. They were talking to me the whole game, so you know, I just, we don't talk around here. We just, you know, we're businessmen, so we just get it done. We don't say anything, but afterwards, you know, we could, we could do what we want. So after I score, you know, that's how it's going to be. But great game, great game. Great, great players, too. It feels amazing. You know, we work hard every day in practice, all week, all camp. You know, it's just a great feeling. Had a lot of doubters. So for us to come out with this kind of victory is amazing. You know, it was a lot. Uh, everybody's saying that. Last year, we didn't have no runs over eight yards, and they don't know how the running back's going to be this year, if we're going to have a dominant back. It was, it was a lot. You know, it wasn't just ODU. I think it was everything bottled up. So it was just a, a big point to prove. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited that we won, um, but I'll be honest, uh, at the first half, I wasn't very pleased. Uh, I just think for the potential that we do have, uh, we didn't meet expectation. I did challenge them in the first half at halftime um, to we got to do better. I thought our tackling, uh, we didn't execute our technique when we needed to. I think the biggest difference from this year in comparison to last year, we got 10 or 11 guys that's willing to run to the ball from the opposite side of the hash. So now those runs didn't go for extended uh, explosive plays. And we were able to minimize them to seven or eight yards. Uh, but, you know, we got to go back to the drawing board because we're going to face a great opponent this week, and we got to improve on our tackling. So I knew that we had a chance to win the football game. Uh, it was just a dominating performance by our coaches, our players, our fans, our prayers that people have been giving the late Dr. Falwell. I know his hand was on it, no doubt about that. And, and so I'm just so proud of this football team. Again, we struggled there in the second quarter a little bit offensively. Defensively played a heck of a ball game there. So they're an explosive team. They got a good, good offensive team, and, and uh, it was good to shut them down for 10 points. I didn't, I didn't think of it in that perspective. But uh, we got a ways to go on some other things, but I'm proud of the way our performance. 